Well, it's only three sheets of paper, and it's, it's double spaced. First of all, congratulations to the other inductees, and I think they were wise choices. In the fall of 1956, I began organizing an intermediate men's team, church team, in Hamilton. In the following two years, I added a bantam and minor bantam teams that played out of Ryerson United in Hamilton. It came as a real surprise to me when I received a phone call saying that uh, I was going to receive this award. Really, when it comes down to it, I worked on this basis because there are a number of things in here that people don't know. And when I was asked to uh, bring them up, <coughs> the uh, situation was that um, really, in fact, I had to go back and look, look some things up. To be a better coach of those teams that were playing out of Ryerson, I needed to gain some rules knowledge and took a referee's course in Hamilton in 1959. Rules knowledge, good mechanics, communication, and application, exactly as specified, became important to me. I worked hard to be at the right place at the right time. Changes in rules and the skill level of players, as they advanced and became better and better, were certainly exciting experiences. <clears throat> I was encouraged to get a wheelchair uh, refereeing certificate and um, also to get a FIBA card. And in, um, and I was fortunately a dual citizen, having been born in Gary, Indiana. So with my association with the International Association of Basketball Officials and their secretary treasurer many decades ago, I got a FIBA card and, uh, in 1969 and three years later, because I returned home, I got a Canadian FIBA card and they played One of the problems I'm having is the amount of light that's in here. I was going to stick to this so that it didn't go on and on. As the years went by, it was surprising the many of opportunities that came my way. Memorable moments include the provincial, order, uh, the provincial tournament that was held in Sault Ste. Marie for under 17 young men and under 17 young women. The assigner of that tournament was Ted Early, a former president of Basketball Ontario. He also went to Sault Ste. Marie as the assigner evaluator. There were two other officials there that held greater credentials than I did. One was Al Ray and another one was Don Klein. Ted assigned me to work the women's games with a, an official which was noted in Sault Ste. Marie by the name of Johnny Marasco. And uh, when Don Klein came back from having gone up to the Sioux to offer some guidance in calling the FIBA game, uh, Johnny Marasco announced that the FIBA, the, uh, I beg your pardon, the high school officer was going to be held in Sault Ste. Marie and he was going to referee it. He was in his mid-70s. And I had the pleasure then 
of refereeing with him on the girls' side. That experience with Ted Early led to a lot of opportunities. It got passed on. And in the meantime, after I picked up my wheelchair certificate, I spent eight Labor Day weekends refereeing in Texas on an international wheelchair tournament at that area. And that led, eventually, to wheelchair tournaments, which uh, I was invited to because the NC2A has quite a competition for disabled athletes. And I ended up calling I'm going to speak from my back of this so I have some light. I'm sorry. Would you move that? Thank you. That's better. Off the court interactions were just as important as on the court. In 1980, Don Mockford and I organized the original <coughs> referees development camp using FIBA rules at the University of Waterloo and at Trent. These referees camps were to select six officials for the following summer in the Canada Games, which was held in, in uh, Thunder Bay. They were to join six other officials from across Canada. I was the designer evaluator for seven championship tournaments for the OWIAA at McMaster, Ryerson, Wilfrid Laurier, Queens, Western, and two at Laurentian. I enjoyed my associations with local boards located in the regions of York, Durham, and the City of Toronto, and being Secretary Treasurer of our provincial uh, board for 16 years. I have met and worked with so many dedicated officials throughout the years. Some of them are here today, and I want to acknowledge them. It's been a privilege, and I appreciate your support. I want to thank the following for letters of recommendation and endorsement for this great honor. Rick Parnham, Provincial President, Dan McNamara, the York President, John Edwards, the Durham President, Tino DeCastro, the City of Toronto President, Jason Scott, a Director of the York North Basketball Association, Pat Lang, 2016 inductee into the Ontario Hall of Fame, Ron Foxcroft, Founder and CEO for Fox 40 and the 2018 Order of Canada recipient. Being inducted into the Ontario Hall of Fame is the biggest surprise that I've ever had, a secret that was well kept. Thank you very much. <laughs>